Dialogue 1, Formal Greetings and Farewells. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, thanks. Oh, excuse me, here's my bus. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dialogue 2, Informal Greetings and Farewells. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Just fine. Where are you going? To the library. Okay. I'll see you later. So long. So long. Dialogue 3. Formal Introductions. Mr. Wilson, I'd like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. How do you do, Dr. Smith? How do you do? Dr. Smith is an economist. He's just finished writing a book on international trade. Oh, that's my field, too. I work for the United Nations. In the development program, by any chance? Yes. How did you guess? I read your articles on technical assistance. They're excellent. Dialogue 4, Informal Introductions. <laughs> Who's the tall girl next to Barbara? That's Mary Anderson. Didn't you meet her at Steve's party? No, I wasn't at Steve's party. Oh, then let me introduce you to her right now. Mary, this is my cousin Jim. Hi, Jim. I'm glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. Can't we sit down somewhere and talk? Sure. Let's sit over there. Dialogue 5. Time. What time is it? It's a quarter to five. Aren't we supposed to be at Jim's house by five o'clock? Five or five-thirty. He said it didn't make any difference. Then maybe we could pick your suit up at the cleaners. Sure. We have plenty of time. Dialogue 6. A telephone call. Hello? Hello? May I speak to Alice Weaver, please? Just a minute. Alice, it's for you. Hello? Hi, Alice. This is Fred. Would you like to go to a movie tonight? Thanks. I'd love to. I haven't been to a movie for a long time. Good. I'll pick you up around 7.30 then. The movie starts at 8. Fine. I'll be ready. Dialogue 7. Happiness. You look happy today. I am happy. I just heard I passed my physics exam. Congratulations. I'm glad somebody's happy. Why? What's the matter? Oh, I'm just worried, I guess. I have to take a history exam next week. Dialogue 8. Ordering a meal. Are you ready to order now, sir? Yes. I'll have tomato soup, roast beef, mashed potatoes, and peas. That's tomato soup, roast beef, mashed potatoes, and peas. How do you want the beef? Rare, medium, or well done? Well done, please. Anything to drink? Mm, just water. I'll have coffee with my dessert. Dialogue 9. Birthdays. How old are you? Nine. But I'll be ten on May 16th. I'm older than you. I'll be ten on May 14th. Are you going to have a birthday party? Maybe. I'll have to ask my mother. Dialogue 10. A crowded theater. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, it isn't. Would you mind moving over one so my friend and I can sit together? No, not at all. Thanks a lot. Dialogue 11. Mistakes. Where did John go? He went to the drugstore. To the bookstore? No, I said he went to the drugstore. Oh, I misunderstood you. I thought you said bookstore. How could you make a mistake like that? Weren't you paying attention? Dialogue 12. Games. Say, Joe, do you play bridge? No, I don't play any card games. But I know how to play chess. How about you, George? Well, I happen to be one of the best chess players around. Okay, let's play then. We'll see who's the best. Dialogue 13. Health. 
I hear you've been ill. Well, I had the flu for a couple of weeks, but I'm fine now. You're looking well. By the way, did you hear about Mrs. Jackson? No. What about her? She had such a bad case of the flu that they had to take her to the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Dialogue 14. Sports. Say, what's your favorite sport? Hmm, it's hard to say. I like golf a lot, but I guess I like tennis better. Do you play much tennis? Yes, quite a bit. How about a game sometime? Sorry, I'm strictly a spectator. Football, baseball, basketball, golf, I watch them all. Dialogue 15. Asking directions. Excuse me, could you tell me which way Dobson's bookstore is? Yes, it's that way. You go two blocks, then turn left. It's on the corner opposite the post office. Thanks. I've only been in town a few days, so I really don't know my way around yet. Oh, I know how you feel. We moved here a year ago, and I still don't know where everything is. Dialogue 16. Coincidences. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? No, I don't think so. But your face is so familiar. Wait a second. I know. We were on the same flight to New York last month. Oh, yes. Now I remember. What a coincidence to meet in San Francisco. Well, you know what they say. It's a small world. Dialogue 17. Safety. There's the shoe store we've been looking for. It's just across the street. Wait! You can't cross the street in the middle of the block. You have to cross at the corner. Oh, come on. Let's go across here. Look out! You nearly got hit by that car. Now do you see why you should cross at the corner? I guess you're right. I'll be more careful after this. Dialogue 18. Musical Instruments. Listen, somebody's playing the piano. Yeah, it sounds nice, doesn't it? I wish I could play a musical instrument. Don't you play the violin? No, but my sister does. Actually, she's pretty good at it. I took flute lessons for a couple of years, but I never learned to play very well. I guess I don't have any musical talent. Oh, that's not true. You sing very well. I can't even do that. Dialogue 19. Taking a vacation. Did you say you're going to take a vacation next month? Yes. My family and I are going to New York for a week. We want to visit the museums and see some plays. I envy you. I haven't had a vacation for a long time. I wish I could get away for a while. You can take a vacation sometime soon, can't you? No, there's too much work to do. Maybe next year, though. Dialogue 20. Recipes. Would you like some cookies? I just made them. Thank you. Yes, I would. These are chocolate, and those are almond-flavored. I guess I'll try a chocolate one first. Mmm, this is delicious. Are they hard to make? No, they're really quite easy. Wait a minute. I've got the recipe right here. See, these are the ingredients, and then you just follow the directions. That does look easy. I think I'll make some tonight. Dialogue 21. Weather. Brr! I'm cold. I thought it was supposed to get warmer today. Yeah, I thought so too. That's what the weatherman said. It must be the wind that makes it so cold. I'm freezing. Me too. Let's go inside. Okay. It's no fun standing out here, even if the sun is shining. Dialogue 22. Having things done. Excuse me. I wonder if you can help me. Sure. What is it? I want to have my hair cut, but I can't find a barber shop. I know where one is. Come on, I'll show you. 
Dialogue 23. Mailing letters. Do you mind if we stop by the post office? I have to mail these letters, and I don't have any stamps. Oh, I have some. We don't need to go all the way to the post office. That would save time. Can you let me have two airmail stamps and one regular one? Here you are. Are you sure that's enough? Yes, that's fine. Now all we have to do is find a mailbox. Dialogue 24. Animals. That's a beautiful cat. I wonder who it belongs to. It belongs to the Browns. They live across the street from us. They have three cats, two dogs, and a canary. They certainly must like pets. But how do all those animals get along with each other? Don't ask me. Ask the Browns. Dialogue 25. Shopping. Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for a pair of white gloves. I think I wear size 6. The white gloves are on this counter. Let's see. Here's a size 6. These are very nice, and they're washable, too. Oh, I'll try them on. Hmm, they seem to fit. How much are they? Five dollars. All right, I'll take them. That'll be five twenty with the tax. Dialogue 26. Transportation. Shall we take a taxi or a bus to the meeting? We'd better take a bus. It's almost impossible to find a taxi during rush hour. Isn't that a bus stop over there? Yes. Uh-oh, there's a bus now. We'll have to run to catch it. Okay. Oh, no, we just missed it. Never mind. There'll be another one in ten minutes. Dialogue 27. Comparing. I think this material is much prettier than that, don't you? Well, I don't know. I like them both. Why do you like that one better? Well, the design is more interesting, and the colors are brighter, and it's not as expensive either. Oh, I see what you mean. Besides, these colors are more becoming to you. Do you really think so? I'll buy it then. Dialogue 28. Pastimes. What do you do in your spare time? Oh, nothing special. I read, watch TV, go to the movies. Don't you have any hobbies? Like stamp collecting or things like that? No, I don't have any hobbies. How about you? I have just one, photography. It's expensive, but it's a lot of fun. Dialogue 29, Weddings. Guess what? Paul and Susan are engaged. Really? When did that happen? A week ago. They met last summer. And now just think... They'll be married soon. Have they set a date for the wedding? No, not yet. But Susan says they'd like to get married in November or December. Then they'll go to Hawaii for their honeymoon. Dialogue 30. Effort. I give up. I simply can't learn French. Why do you say that? I think you're making a lot of progress. No, I'm not. I try and try and I still can't speak it very well. Learning any language takes a lot of effort, but don't give up. Why don't we practice those dialogues together? Good idea. That just might help. <laughs>